My first season of ice climbing was probably 1982. Since then, I've been climbing ice every winter, using that as a foundation for high altitude climbing. I'm a uh, big mountain climber, so climbing in the Himalayas, Antarctica, Alaska, South America. I'm dedicated to it. I am a cold weather person. Living here in Montana, I absolutely live for ice climbing. We live a very busy life. When I climb, I have to be in the moment. And the process of being in the moment for me is the most important part of climbing. And that thunk of your tool sinking into ice. And you tug on it, test it, feels good, and then you move up on it, making that next move. Doing that for me is intrinsically really rewarding. Climbing is hard work. You get scrunchy using your core and bringing your legs up. Every time you make a move, you're looking at the situation to make a decision. You can't give up. After something as intense as that, the relaxation comes in the sauna. For me, the two are connected. The sauna experience is is integral to the ice climbing. It's a very important part of my health care. Humidity accentuates temperature, encouraging your blood to move through your, your body. And that um, is a great complement to intense physical activity. It's between 160 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Spin it around 15 minutes dry. and I'll add a little essence. My favorite is uh, birch. Splash it over the rocks. And spin it. And then I squeegee my body. And you just kind of pull the sweat off and it comes back in again. And I've got a series of rocks. I have pumice, which is volcanic rock. I also have quartzite granite, little symbols of my life and the life well lived and places I've been. I use these tools to massage myself, kind of um, take off the skin on my heels and my toes. Each one of these rocks has a different abrasion quality to it. These are what I make my living with, so when I measure them and get them all in there, it's kind of a nice place in there to, to work on them. Water turns to vapor, or you really feel it. There's more to it than just the physical relaxation. It's a way to uh, process the day. Hot water speaks to what it is to be human. You understand who you are. It's something that goes back to many cultures across the world that brings understanding that you create hardship for yourself to make yourself stronger. Climbing embraces that. I've always wanted a sauna in the house. Thanks to Ben and Kelly and Max and the whole team here at Mountain Hot Tub, the folks in Finland with Finleo, we built one in the basement. They come measure, they install, completely professional courteous service. Anywhere, anytime, let's go. I'm ready to climb. Warm water and warm air are integral to it. <laughs>